Thank you so much. Um, so happy to be here. Um, first, a, a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Dan Skevakase. I'm a consultant with RGP. I've been working in the finance and accounting area for more than uh, 25 years. I did start my career with Ernst & Young, but the last 20 years I've spent uh, on system implementations and process improvement initiatives. And for the last few years, I've been focused on helping companies leverage Blackline to generate efficiencies, accelerate results, and uh, really enable accountants to perform higher uh, value-added work. So uh, today we'll be talking about uh, transaction matching. So today I'm going to share some of my experiences implementing uh, matching. Uh, when we work with clients uh, such as yourselves that are already using matching or maybe thinking about using matching uh, for the first time, um, when we work with uh, on these matching projects, uh, we like to focus on certain areas that we think make these projects successful. So the first area that we focus on is making sure that we understand your current data and processes. Um, by knowing uh, exactly what you're doing now, it helps us understand um, what we need to do to set up uh, the future business process within Blackline. Uh, we also look for opportunities to improve your current processes, and a lot of times that means that we need to change how things are currently being done. And sometimes we have to think creatively um, and uh, completely redesign the process. So. These are always uh, the areas that we focus on when implementing our matching projects. Now, what I'd like to do is uh, share our experience um, implementing matching for a major regional bank institution. First, I'll introduce uh, the overall project and then do a deeper dive on a couple of the uh, use cases where we implemented Blackline. So, this client was a current Blackline customer, but only used the account reconciliation product. They had dabbled a little bit in matching um, and had some uh, mixed success um, before they decided to use uh, an implementation partner. And that's when we started talking to them. Uh, what they're looking to do is implement uh, 30 accounts uh, using transaction matching over a six month period in a phased approach. Now, the challenge was um, is that uh, they um, uh, were currently doing everything uh, manually. Uh, it, the reconciliations were time consuming and they were performing them on a daily basis on paper uh, and using Excel. Uh, they had 50 plus subledger and data extracts where they needed information to be able to perform their reconciliations. And uh, their accounts, uh, in a lot of cases, were very diverse. So uh, not only the matching logic that was used to reconcile each of the different accounts, but the various key data fields uh, that were being used. So what did we do? Well, um, we actually spent quite a bit of time initially um, understanding, especially their most complex accounts, to assess their data and logic. Um, we had um, a lot of meetings reviewing the data, understanding uh, from the accountants themselves what needed to be done. And uh, we designed um, um, basically uh, a universal data source in which we took all the various different data extracts and essentially created a single uh, data source uh, to the extent possible. In a way, we're creating a mini database uh, with all the different uh, data extracts. Uh, to really simplify the matching process, make it more efficient, at the same time enhance the visibility so that we could see all the data in one uh, location, even though it was coming from different uh, data extracts. We also, in a lot of cases, leveraged uh, the mirrored uh, data sources, which is a functionality that Blackline provides, where when you import a data source, it'll make a duplicate uh, data source of that data extract. And so in a lot of cases, we use that extra, that duplicate data source, to actually do a, a validation of the subledger detail to the GL posting, just to make sure that it was, um, that the data was complete and accurate. And we use that in a lot of cases, and uh, we'll touch on that in one of our use cases as well. We also spent a lot of time looking at the data, 
uh, and making sure that uh, first that we clearly define the data requirements. Um, and uh, we made sure that where possible to have clean data uh, that was then going to be used for matching. And in some cases, we focused on uh, the data scripting as the data extracts were being developed, or we leveraged uh, Blackline's import utility tool to do some of the data transformations and uh, used uh, regular expressions, which is like an advanced uh, functionality to get even cleaner uh, data, again, to increase our uh, matching success as well as uh, simplify some of the data that we're working with. We also, uh, in some cases, uh, really leveraged some of the past rules and made sure that we created multiple rules um, to ensure that um, the, you know, leveraging all the data as well as applying the matching logic that was required to make sure that we could get uh, accurate matches as well as uh, uh, overall reduce the amount of manual effort that was uh, required. So generally when we're implementing matching uh, for this client, these were some of the areas where um, we were really focused on and where we derived a lot of the benefits uh, to make sure that we're successful.